can explain. All right, so I didn't plan on getting a new vehicle, but it kind of just kind of just happened. How? I don't know. So here's the backstory. I was looking for a Porsche Cayenne for a friend who's been wanting one because he's been wanting to do like an overland build. Uh, literally the same thing as you see right here. And I found this car and I sent it to him. And I remember him saying that um, it was out of his uh, budget. So he didn't want it. And ever since I did that, I don't know why, I just kept looking at the post and I'm like, man, this thing is nice. Just getting all these ideas, I'm like, hmm, I've always wanted an overland build. I've always wanted to do like off-roading stuff. Made for the channel too, obviously. Change it up a bit, like alternate. Obviously, I still got the ST. It's at home, cleaned it up today. More content with that car to come. Still got the Civic. Do plan on selling it, but not, not now. Probably later on, after a couple months. We'll see. And then this. So, I did go look at it, and I went to look at it at night, and the first thing I said was like, dang, this thing is bigger than I thought, because I thought it was just like a, like, like a little lift kit, like, wheels, but obviously a picture won't do justice, and then when I seen it in person, I'm like, oh man, this thing's big, and it is a Eurowise kit, if you guys know your Porsche Cayennes, that's the kit everybody uses, it's the only kit available for these, so... Your wise kit with rotor forms. You guys know I like my wheels and rotor forms. I've always wanted a set of rotor forms. Now we got him. A little bit of backstory with this car. It did belong to one of the guys at 034. I don't know you guys know 034. Um, it's one of the Volkswagen Audi uh, performance brands, performance parts brand, manufacturers, etc. etc. And this car has some really good records. He did take care of it. First thing I asked my friends that work there, I'm like, what do you guys know about this? And they're like, it's badass. <laughs> I'm like, man, uh, anything else? They're like, it's got 034 history, stuff like that. They're like, get it. And I'm like, oh man, making me make a bad decision, which ended up being a good decision because this thing is awesome. Like, this is not, look at these wheels. Look at all the wheels. Oh, the rotor form's facing the wrong way, but you get it. Rotor form. Those look badass. And yeah, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with the purchase. All right, so this is a two-rag TDI, so it's a two-rag diesel. And I'll see, like, this front end is so cool. And I've always, one car that I want in my collection is an Overland Porsche Cayenne. It's literally the same chassis. Obviously, I'm not going to pay that Porsche Cayenne premium price. Because Porsche Cayenne for this year, same motor, but I'd probably do like a V8 if I get one of those. Uh, those go for use like 30 grand for 2013. This is a 2013 and honestly it does not look like a 2013 Everyone thought it was a brand new car like no this thing is 10 years old But I like how it's aging. It's aging really nice It does have like literally modern features like LEDs adaptive lights and all that stuff and the interior the Interior is sick. It's like a peanut butter interior You get like these peanut butter seats right here and this is not black it's like actually like a really dark brown so in the sun you can kind of see it but i like how it looks black with the wood it's like a little bit of luxury with like i don't know just like noxious this <laughs> does come with the volkswagen roof racks already so that's good because you already know what we're gonna do for the top i do want to get that rooftop tent for uh, car shows or whatever like imagine imagine just seeing this thing at a car show with the tent up and like the ladder on the side isn't that bad? I think that's badass. I mean, I've seen it before. That's why I think it's, it's so big badass. enough as is. Look, I'll stand next to it. Yeah, what if I just want to take a nap at a show? I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Bally, how tall are you? Like 5'11, 5'10? 5'10. Pretty tall. Stand next to it again. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. I mean, it does obviously pictures, video is not going to do it justice, but compared to like other SUVs, it's pretty tall. <laughs> obviously, we do have the big tires. I want to say these will equal like a size 30, oh, 33s for off-roading tires, but it is like a 265, 70, 18 on rotor forms. I actually don't know the exact model. I searched it up, but I kind of forgot. Uh, 
so I will search it up later on. But these are so cool. I oh, I think it might just be me. I like this color, but I feel like a bronze, like a dark bronze, will look a little bit better. But I don't know. I think this color is just starting to grow on me. The all black with the white. I think it looks really good. Obviously, look. TDI, like I said, it is a turbo diesel, so you get that torque, and it does sound like a truck. It doesn't chop as loud as a diesel, but you can hear it. And you can hear that turbo spool up, which is sick. And these exhaust tips look really cool. Like it gives it like a like a sporty SUV vibe, you know? I mean, I think this is kind of what it is. Obviously, it's lifted now, but like, yeah, you get all that stuff. And also, we got automatic lift gate. Place real quick. I never had a car with automatic lift gate. I think that's badass. Come in handy for sure. Close it up. That is so sick. Obviously, first mod we're gonna do. Hmm. We already have some LED lights coming in. I already installed some that no one really care about, like the reverse lights. I already changed them to LED plate lights. I already changed them. And came with that plate. And the guy's like, "You gotta keep the plate." And I'm like obviously like it where is it gonna go might as well keep it it makes sense so yup good thing is these tires are snow tires do planning on i do plan on taking it to the snow because never been in the snow so like i'm sure i'll take it and yeah i can't wait man this is gonna be so much content with this thing i hope you guys like it i don't care if you guys do or don't <laughs> i fucking love this thing bradley likes it surprisingly like it. did you expect me to even get this no, he sent me a picture of it, and I actually saw the listing on Facebook before mm -hmm. he bought it. I'm like, oh, that thing's pretty cool. It was that easy car wash, I think, the pictures were taken at. I think it was a different one, but it wasn't a car wash. Some, some car wash, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. For what I paid, I think this thing's stupid rad. Like, definitely good daily upgrade. As you guys know, I have the Civic, and that thing sucks uh, it doesn't suck for road trips it gets amazing gas mileage it's just the fact that it's a small car and you feel like everyone's gonna squish you and obviously it doesn't have that power when you want to pass somebody so now we got luxury and this thing does turn a lot of heads surprisingly i mean it's badass it's different you guys know i like my cars different obnoxious that's who i am how i like to build my cars and i think this fits right in it already came, like I said, it already came with the wheels and the lift kit, but the lift kit and the wheels are brand new. They don't even have, I think, they don't even have like more than 5,000 miles on them, probably less. Uh, the guy installed them, he had plans off-roaded and stuff, and uh, he uh, had a car come up that he really wanted to buy, so it only made sense for him to sell this, as it was like his extra car. So I'm glad that I could take it off his hands, I told him it's going to go to a good home, I'll treat it. With respect, you know, I like to treat my cars good, not abuse them a ton, but we'll see. <laughs> when I take this thing off-roading, hopefully it's not too intense. Obviously, I'm not going to go intense because I've never really been off-roading like that, but we'll go like intermediate for now, take the easy trails. Interior is pretty simple, but just like perfect enough. Ignore my Sprite. <laughs> but like I said, I like the wooden grain. It does, it did come with like an aftermarket sound or head unit doubled in uh the car plate doesn't work right now so i gotta figure it out why he said he thinks there's something unplugged or maybe just a hard reset will fix it worst case i'll just swap it i mean i need my car plate, so i'm gonna look into it soon and it does come with like a ton of cool features it does come with a panoramic roof that's a really cool feature that a lot of people like which i love it and yeah the gauges are Premium, but not too crazy. Steering wheel apparently is a Eurospec steering wheel, which I don't know what makes it a Eurospec. The only difference I see, it's like, obviously the airbag cover is brown, but obviously they came with the car. It's like black with like the gloss black. I don't know, but he said it was Eurospec. Uh, he is gonna give me all the other stock parts and he's gonna give me like a few stuff for it. So that's clutch. All right, so I already have some fog lights coming in for this. You guys will see that later because these are stock and they suck they don't do anything but yeah it's a little dirty in here but yeah v6 tdi you guys know these engines are pretty solid uh other than just like timing chain maintenances and uh hyper fuel pumps i believe that grenade apparently so we're gonna make sure that we can get some mileage off of this one and make sure uh, we try to fill up the tank once it gets to one fourth and not try to go any lower and make sure the fuel system's lubricated 
and I don't know if anyone's in it. I can't find any videos, but I do want to get like a I wouldn't say intake, but just like a filter, just so I can hear the turbo more. Because you can hear it, but I just want to hear it more. You guys know I love my turbo sounds. And I might do some exhaust work. They say, obviously, you delete the DPF, which is like the diesel like emissions stuff. Obviously, you're going to get all that turbo sound, but I don't really want to do that because, yeah, you know, I live in California. So, yeah, I don't want to pay an arm and a leg just to drive it like that when it, it's, I don't know, it's not really a performance car like that, so it doesn't even matter. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to start it for you guys. This is the key, by the way. It's pretty cool. Just so you guys can hear it. I mean, it's not that loud, but you can hear a little something at least. Um, it does come with, like, the trailer braking hit or system. I don't know. The thing that sucks is if I do have a trailer ever, this thing can tow, like, 7,700 pounds, so that will be more than enough to tow my car in a trailer, so it's perfect. But in case I do have to like break really fast, I gotta reach all the way down here. So I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. But let's start it up. <laughs> You can tell it's a diesel, it does chop a little bit, it does have that diesel sound. And these DRLs are pretty good, like pretty good, pretty cool, I mean. It just makes it look aggressive. What do you think about like the daytime running lights? I like them. I know, I, like I didn't. The, the that I have. Yeah, I like them, like, I, didn't know even, I didn't even know it came with them. I think they're really cool, they're pretty bright. <laughs> and obviously, diesel, let's go to the back. <laughs> yeah, there's not going to be much exhaust sound, but... Want to give it a couple revs? Just sure. I don't even know what it sounds like. <laughs> you can't even hear anything. It just sounds like it's a two and a half. Barely air. Twenty-five hundred red bull in there. I know it sucks. I mean, it's diesel, so obviously you can't rev up that much. We rev it again. See if I hear any turbo sounds up here. Can't even hear it. <laughs> we'll try to fix that later on. I'm gonna give you guys a launch in the dirt because the thing just looks cool. So I'm gonna hand the camera to Boo Rad. Ready for this launch? Here. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I already got mods on the way for this thing. More to come with this thing. Shout out to Boo Rad for being the OG cameraman. Yo. You guys know a lot of my videos. Boo Rad is the cameraman. We'll get the GTI and out. We need a often. photo shoot with the GTI and this thing because Volkswagen boys now. So we'll Get catch up. you guys on the next one. Let it out, brother. Uh.